Hey, how's it going guys? Missing out here, and today we got a bit of a different video. Uh, people have sent me a couple of messages on Reddit, and I've gotten a comment or two requesting one of these, but uh, people want to see a collection binder, but I have too many cards to put into a necessarily collection binder, so what you guys need instead is the, uh, the deck binder. And basically what this is, is this is the binder that all of my good cards are in that are all revolved around like deck building and stuff um so basically what i'll do is if i want to build a deck i can come in here and like 50 percent of the cards i can just grab straight out of this binder because if you haven't noticed a lot of my videos are just like the same like bunch of cards and then like weird crap trinkled in so uh yeah this isn't necessarily supposed to be a flex video it's just something that people are wanting and i guess i might as well give people what they want so if it comes off like I'm trying to like flex on people, uh, just know that there are people with much better things out there than me, and that makes me sad. So we're going to start things off with eight copies of Andromeda just on the front page, uh, and a promo pit in the middle, because that just like looks really, really cool. Um, that glare can fuck off though. But yeah, uh, that's a nice way to start off the binder, I'm pretty sure. We have three copies of uh eternal haven we got our three copies of klima we have our three copies of almighty colossus that i've been promising to show off in a video for months now and that deck is now done i have it to a list that i'm pretty happy with i'm pretty content all together with it so look forward to that in the future now right here i don't know what happened i could have sworn i had three copies of king tritonus and either i've somehow lost a copy of king tritonus somewhere in my house or my entire life is a lie, and I never had a third copy, and I'm just freaking out over nothing. So, I don't know where that is. That being said, I know for a fact I never had three copies of Infernus Emulator, and I would like to complete the place out of the Monarchs. So, I guess hit me up. Maybe. Money kind of blows, so maybe not. And uh, three more copies of Terra Pit. Because this card is really, really pretty. Come over here. We got our three copies of Cassiopeia Starborn. We got our three copies of Infernus the Awakened. Because that boy good. And we got our one, ha, huh, just kidding, four playsets of General Fembar. Also, that's still a lie. There's another three more playsets somewhere else in the house. But I couldn't be bothered to put them all in this binder. Because... That's a, not necessary, because Finbar's at 200 ban list at home, so why need that many? Uh, we have three copies of Ember and Euron, because Blurple was really fun, and I want to try and build a modern Blurple deck. We'll see how that goes in the future. Also, this was featured in the Waterfire Rush deck, and I think it'd be really fun to just upload some, like, Evo Fury format videos because Evo Fury was so much fun and uh, it was like what we had right before the dragons hit the game and sometimes you just don't want to have to deal with Lyras and Andromedas and just all that really broken stuff that came from set six onward uh three copies of Hive Queen I've been promising to do videos on Hive Queen forever now I have three lined up I just have to actually record them but uh, that is coming. We have four copies of Major Ow. Uh, only have two copies of Regent Sasha. I definitely need to fix that, but it's not necessarily a priority in my opinion. It's just a really nice card to have. Uh, we got three copies of Kurgar. Uh, I posted an almost like 20 minute video on a Kurgar deck, and my love for Kurgar is no secret. This card is really cool. My love for Baron is also not a secret, and everyone that's sleeping on it, you need to stop, because this card is really funny, and it's really good. Speaking of cards that are really good, we also have three copies of Boulder Fist. Uh, Modern Nature will be coming in the future at some point. Sorry, that's taking forever. We already did a deck profile on Draco Mech Commander, as well as a deck profile on Dragon Engine Glue Urgle. Um, this deck is good. This deck is trash. I wouldn't waste your time building it unless you were just like really trying to do something funny. Uh, Squill of Scourge. We only got two copies of that. Would like to get more, but you know, whatever. 
Uh, Napalmian probably shouldn't be in this binder um, because I played it in one deck and then I removed it. So that's probably a mistake on my end. Uh, Heretic Prince Raka is one of my favorite cards. It's just really, really cool. Dragonite Volaron, I wish was better, but it still gets in there. This card probably seems like a weird addition to have in the binder, but Voxa, uh, sorry, Voxa will be seeing a video soon. Because uh, if you read that ability, um, I mean, even its flavor text just talks about what the heck the deck is going to do. So yeah, uh, Voxa Colossus coming soon. Look forward to that. And oh boy, look at all these Lyras. You can never have enough Lyras. And I wish I had more. But sadly, it only stops at five playsets. And that's followed by a playset of Arbiter. And that's pretty nice. Arbiter is pretty good too. I wish I had another one so I could have two play sets, but I guess we're not all that awesome, huh? Uh, this card, War Master Tetsurion, shouldn't be in the binder. I don't know why it's here because, in my opinion, this deck is kind of bad, or this card's kind of bad. I mean, yeah, I've never wanted to play this card. Like, it seems good, but I, I actually hate it. Uh, it's kind of a waste of a slot in this binder. Warchief Kyo, would love to have more copies of that, but unfortunately I don't. Captain Snowbeard, uh, I don't have a deck around this card, but it's really pretty and I don't want to lose it like I potentially lost to Tritonus. So it's going to stay in this binder for probably all eternity. Same thing with the Snowfort. Um, Grand Manipulator Agurix is a pretty fun card. Uh, I've shown in a couple decks. Uh... I'm really starting to like this card more and more, and I want to start playing more things, but we'll see what happens with that in the future. Got three copies of Cordia, the Soul Tyrant. Uh, this card is a meme, but I love him, so I want to keep trying to build around him. So there's that. Scared Orable, the Behemoth. I want to post a video on this guy as well. I actually have a list that I've been working on for a while now, so look forward to that in the far, far future. And then uh, Twilight Archon is just a funny card that I would like to tech in a Haven deck, but we'll see what happens with that in the future. I don't have high hopes for it, but who knows. This card is funny. Uh, there's no reason why there should be seven of it on this page, and I'm not sure why there is. Uh, but I'm trying to focus around making a deck that uses like the fight mechanic, and I think this card will kind of work like that, so there's that to maybe look forward to. This is still like beta testing it. Sargon probably shouldn't be in here. Shade Blaze makes a lot more sense, though. And then we move on to Good Nature. So we've got our play sets of Roll Core. I could have sworn I had more than just, like, a play set, but I guess I don't. That being said, I have so many Anjak. Um, there's more elsewhere, but I... Oh, that bothers me. I should have had a completed play set there, but I don't. Anyway, Wild Strider Ramnith, that card is amazing. I definitely want more copies of that card because I've been playing the hell out of it lately. Uh, Eternal Guy Dragon, it's funny in theory. It's ass in practice, so there's that. Uh, Bronze Arm Sabretooth was my favorite card in the game up until Cassiopeia Starborn came out, and that's my favorite card. But uh, the promo Bronze Arm Sabretooth just looked really nice, so yeah. Uh, General Skycrusher, that card's amazing. Trox the Merciless, that card's amazing. Uh, the two copies of Tornark, I want to build a Void Spawn deck, but I can promise you 100% that deck will be ass and not worth it. But it will be fun trying to do something with it. You gotta have your obligatory playset of Tricky Turnip. I wish I had more, but I don't. Uh, almost two playsets of Swift Regeneration. Uh, Soul Devourer Black Feather, this card is garbage. For the most part, but the legendary Mark Wooden up uh, took a deck using this to a dojo tournament on the Discord, and it was hilarious. And now I want to build it too. And this card's only like two bucks at the moment, so I should definitely jump on that. Uh, this card is going to be part of a meme deck, uh, so look forward to that. Also, I'm working a Skyforce Champion deck, and this card will be in there as well. So that kind of warrants it having a spot here because it's being multiple things. This boy good for Mono Fire. 
This card is ass. I don't know why it's in my binder. I've tried making it work and I just can't. It's not worth my time. And I, I'm going to replace these with something else in the binder for sure. This is a card I also want to build a deck around in the future for you guys. Um, it's probably not a great card. But it'd be something fun to just like use. Like I can acknowledge that it's not a good card. UFO, I used to have five copies. Now, for some reason, I only have two, and I have no clue where the hell they all went. Uh, draft Hover Talons, there's only four here, but I can assure you there's like 55 in another shoebox somewhere. Uh, same thing with all these cyber scamps. Uh, I have so many cyber scamps. There's at least like a six pages in another binder just filled with KMC scams. I don't need this many. I have some that are like drawn on i have some like autographed by bobby break like i don't need this many cyber scams but you know it's whatever uh crotork the mirror this card is funny in theory uh kind of ass in practice because it's a level three vortex that you know dies to bone blade so it's not really worth my opinion uh dual day magris i also have like three pages of this card in a different binder so the two play sets will suffice for now got to have your lemons on deck at all hand or all times you got your uh necros this card's okay uh probably shouldn't be in the binder but it's whatever uh prism blade i have a nature light beast can enforcer deck coming up in the future this guy is definitely part of it so i have two play sets of panopter in here i have eight play sets all together and ironically enough, in the entirety of this game, I never once built anything involving Panopter, aside from the um, the Renegade Hero Finbar deck that I more or less stole from Modest Duelist, but uh, that deck was really good, so I definitely want to work with Panopter a little bit more in the future. Serpents and Spirit Shifter probably doesn't need to be in this binder, but I have like a really weird obsession with Serpents, and I really love him, so it's going to stay. You got your three copies of Underworld Stalker because this card is really good, except in open format, it's kind of not. But either way, it's definitely something to have. Hovercraft Gruger, uh, Hovercraft Glue Urgle. God, it's a, uh, it's not good, but it's funny. Uh, Belgor the Accursed Dragon. This card is weird. I definitely want to try doing something with it because its rune effect is kind of funny. I can't really find a good deck to put it in. I think it would be really neat if I could make like a, a mono darkness deck work with like, I think it's time lost phantom that like breaks your own shields and stuff. And maybe you could like utilize that with Balegor to like do some funny shit. But uh, getting to nine man on that deck will be a, a challenge for sure. So I'm not sure how well that would go. Uh, Mooktok, I have a couple play sets of this card somewhere else, but I can't find them at the moment, but the card's really good. Scare, uh, Screeching Scare Adorable, this card is really good. Also kind of slept on. And, um, Piercing Judgment, that's a good card I hear, um, which is why I have so many of them. You can never have enough Piercing Judgments. Uh, this is going to be like the, more or less like the, the good staples that aren't shiny coming up for now. Uh, Tendril Grasp, pretty good card. Herald of Infernus, yeah, that's a really good card. I have another couple of plays that's just sitting on a nightstand that I've never done anything with, so maybe I should put those in a binder as well. Uh, all of Crystal Memory, because I hear that card's also pretty good. Another one, uh, we got Broodmothers. I got more somewhere, so that other Crystal Memory being there is also really bothering me, but I'll get over it. We have two more play sets of Scare Adorable of Gloom Hollow. Definitely want to get more of these because this card's really good. And we have Blinder Beetle Primes out the butt. Um, there's even more of these somewhere else. Like, I, I keep finding them. Uh, I have Blinder Beetles with, like, jokes written on them that people are just, like, throwing out. Uh, so, yeah. Terrapit. Um, clearly, there's supposed to be another place that Terra Pit's here. I'm not sure where those went. So, that's upsetting. Wish I'd known that was like that before I started recording this. Uh, more Terra Pits. You got your Keeper of Laws, because you absolutely have to have Keeper of Laws. You got your Root Traps, because Root Trap is really good. Uh, cards are also really good, or Iron Will Tree. Kind of wish I had more of those as well. 
And we got our bottle of wishes because you can never have too many bottles. And then the last page is just a page just full of nipple beam because Storm Stork Blast is really good. Uh, but you like cards like um, Bone Blades, I'm always talking about, and Mesmerize. Those uh, those are all in a box somewhere because I have like a box of like I think 140 of both of those. At least 140 of both of those. Uh, because they were just so common. So I can just go to any binder for that. But yeah, this is the the deck binder. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this felt kind of like a flex post. And I don't really like that, so sorry about that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see in the future. And maybe I will be able to record that for you as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.